And I was like, that would be amazing if grape jelly was a cure for cancer. Let me do the commercial. No more painful needles. <laughs> Forget nauseating drugs. <laughs> The cure for cancer has been in your refrigerator the whole time. <laughs> Just You can use any grape jam or jelly, or get a special jar of our special welly jelly, packed with moisturizers, vitamins, and antioxidants, spread on a piece of bread, slap on the affected area, and lick off. Diabetic, not a problem. Sugar is not a, a factor in this equation. Slap it on an area like your stomach that you can't reach to lick off. Uh, just get someone to do it for you. Have no friends. If you order in the next 10 minutes, I will send you a list of people in your area who as a service to the cancer community will be happy to lick the jelly off your body. and have fun all at the same time. And I would know, because I'm not just the Welly Jelly president, I'm also a client. <laughs> and the next stop is the surgeon, and oh, and they're asking pages and pages of questions, you know. Could you be pregnant? How much do you drink a day? You know what, Doc? Not for anything, but you're the one with the scalpel. How much do you drink a day? <laughs> <laughs> so to the last question, and um, okay, okay, um, I always ask this of all my patients to predict the recovery time in case of complications. Do you work out? <laughs> Yes, I do. I shop. I go shopping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 shopping. You know, the mom the mall is right across the way. <laughs> and he didn't get it. And he just said, um, no, uh, seriously, what kind of shape would you say you're in? I said, okay, well, seriously? <laughs> I would say I'm in medium shape. I'm not in really good shape where I take these stairs to the upper level of the mall. And I'm not really lazy where I take the elevator, but I take the escalator and I walk with it. <laughs> Plus I park really far in the mall parking lot on purpose, so I get extra walking. You know, you gotta get your cardio. Plus, doctor, I have figured out the exact timing of when to switch the shopping bags so that the weight is evenly distributed so that your buys and tries are evenly distributed on both sides. Because you see, doctor, shopping, like medicine, is both a science and an art. <laughs> Um, and he said, uh, I wasn't finished. He's like, but do you do anything for real exercise? And I said, oh, okay, because we're not going to count shopping as a sport, Dr. Golf Trophy Man. <laughs> That's a really nice golf trophy. Let me see, a shopper and a golfer? Oh, yeah, I could definitely kick your ass. <laughs> And you would be thinking with all the screaming and plunging and beatings that I would have lost weight, but I guess from the steroids, I just had a constant appetite and I ate all the time. And I gained 35 pounds on chemo. And you know who's really sexy? Everybody says he's just like cute, but he's really sexy, Captain Crunch. <laughs> I don't know. And every night I would go and I'd have a bowl of Captain Crunch. But not a cereal bowl, I mean like a punch bowl. <laughs> and finally I learned that the bathroom is no place to be cutting costs. Use whatever toilet paper makes you and your hiding feel amazing. Because you are. I love you. Thank you for coming. <laughs>